Namaskar friends, I am astrologer and Vastu consultant Ridhi Behel. Today we are going to talk about Nadi Dosh. So much of importance is given to Nadi matching. In fact, uh, out of 36 points, maximum points, that is 8 points are given to Nadi. Why? There are three kinds of Nadis. Adi Nadi, Madhya Nadi and Ant Nadi. Now which Nadi belongs to you or you fall in which Nadi depends upon your nakshatra, that is the nakshatra in which your moon is placed. So for example, you are born in Bharani nakshatra. So your nadi is going to be Adi nadi. Now while matching a horoscope, one has to see that the girl and the boy in question should not fall in the same nadi. Otherwise, it is considered as nadi dosh. Now what happens if you know uh, the couple is in the same nadi? Or they belong to the same Nadi. We all humans are made up of five elements. Air, water, sky, earth and fire. Kaf, Vat and Pith. You all must have heard of it. These elements play a very important role when it comes to our health. As per Ayurveda, if there is an imbalance between these elements, it creates health issues. Now, if people belonging to the same Nari, so the boy in question and the girl in question belong to the same Nari, which means Nari Dosh, if they get married, then there is a chance or there is a possibility that their offspring or their child will have health issues. Ayurveda attaches a lot of importance to this. Even medical science talks in support of this theory. But friends, one thing I would like to tell you and which I have been talking in my previous videos as well. So when it comes to marriage or when it comes to matchmaking, please don't base your decision on one point or one thing. Be it Manglik, non-Manglik, be it the Gun Milan, be it the compatibility check. One has to see everything in totality before you, you know, agree for the marriage. I hope today's topic was interesting and gave you some clarity. Hoping to see you soon. Namaskar.